the other couple things that I want to give you guys are just tidbits of what I've learned along the way. Um, first and foremost, and this is a little bit more woohoo-y, you can blame this on the year I lived in San Diego. Um, I really believe now that how life works, what you think about, what you write about, what you talk about, becomes what your life looks like. Um, I was at $3,000 a month was what I was paying myself. Uh, in fact, I kept that trend going. The first million dollars I made, I only paid myself three grand. Uh, I was real good at putting money back into the business and not pulling it out for my family. And uh, I was at a mastermind event, non-real estate related. And they're going around the room of all these other business owners, asking them how much money they pay themselves a month. First check's like $30,000. I'm like, <clears throat> month? <laughs> like, did, did I miss? Next check. I couldn't live if I made less than $75,000 a month. I'm like, a, a month. They get around the room. The average number in the room was 30,000 bucks. They're like working through like this, you know, LA, San Diego, Pacific Northwest people. And in front of me, there's these two gorgeous girls from Louisville, Kentucky that teach hairstylists how to open their own salons. And I'm like, surely these guys don't pay themselves well either. Like, this is my saving grace. And they're both like, oh yeah, no, our, our take home each is $30,000 a month. We, I couldn't imagine living in Louisville for less. And I'm, I'm like, they get to me and like, what about you, Ryan? And I was like, oh, <laughs> I don't even, I was like 3,000. They were like, like a day. <laughs> I was like, no, 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 a month. And, uh, I remember I shared, I left that event and I shared the goal with uh, somebody that I looked up to and trusted. Hey, I want to get to the point that I pay myself $30,000 a month. And they were like, oh, that's excessive. You don't need that. Now I could have been like, yeah, you're right. But I was like, I don't necessarily need it, but I know that it's possible now. And, uh, you know, I could tell you guys, we hit that level and then we've hit far above that, that I won't get into. Um, but the best piece of advice a friend of mine gave me, I was sharing this whole interaction with them, with uh, this guy I looked up to and, you know, yeah, told me I didn't need, it was excessive. He doesn't even pay me that much. My buddy said, don't let anybody else keep you poor. And I was like, mm, that's interesting. And, uh, you know, last thing I'll say on mindset and then we can hop into like, actionable what you guys need to do to get the phone to ring uh andy frazella has one of my favorite quotes that i've ever listened to or that i've ever heard um so i grew up conservative and that gave me a lot of issues around money like uh how am i supposed to want something that i'm not supposed to love how am i is it okay for me to have this? You know, there's the whole scripture about camel through the eye of the needle. And it was like, I'd rather not go to hell. Right. Like if I've got a say in the matter, um, left me with a lot of issues around making money, having money, managing money. And, uh, Andy Frazella had a podcast that totally changed my view on this. And, uh, said, you know, imagine you're God and you've got two sons and, uh, you, one of them works in a homeless shop folding. He calls them Sammy's sandwiches. I'm assuming is what that is. And, you know, makes the lunches, puts together and puts them out the door. The other son um, is successful in business, sets up 15 homeless shelters and feeds 10,000 people a month. Of those two, which are you low key a little bit more proud of? Right. Um, my goal in life is impact. It's, it's not to be a billionaire or a hundred millionaire or, you know, I've got one Ferrari. I don't necessarily need more of them. I'll gladly probably buy more of them in my lifetime. Um, but, uh, you know, you like, what does it take to change the world? And the honest answer, a lot of money. And uh, I believe the reason that I'm on this earth and the reason I have the skill set I do is to fund the causes that I care about. So with that being said, um, makes me feel a lot better about going out and making a load of money because it's not for me. It's for what I'm on this earth to do, right? Um, 
share like what we give or what it do or anything. Cause I, I do still stick to the whole, like the left hand shouldn't know what the right is doing thing, but I can tell you guys, it's been neat to be able to cut checks to causes I care about that are more than what I used to make a year just because the opportunity presented itself or my little brother is getting married. Um, and they're like broke, broke. He's a calf scout in the army. I think he gets like two grand a month and they're trying to like figure out somewhere to go for their honeymoon. He's like, we'd really love to go to this city. So I paid for their hotel for the week. Didn't even blink. It wasn't like, Oh my, he was like, Oh my gosh, I can't believe you did that. And I was like, bro, you're literally my only little brother. <laughs> like you think I could just let you take your new wife to like a motel four for the week for your, like, you know, have to pop quarters into the bed frame. Like, no, we're going to put you up somewhere nice. Right. Um, that's, that's why I, I do what I do.